This is Mike Sullivan. I'm a former IRS agent and teaching instructor uh, with the IRS. I worked at IRS for over a decade. I've been in private practice for four decades. I've worked about 10,000 cases. Welcome to my YouTube channel. They're short, they're sweet. They're really for educational purposes. If you need to retain me, you can. You can ask me questions, whatever. But I want you to make an informative decision really as to the things that you really uh, you need to know. Um, there's a lot of fluff out there and people just blowing wind about stuff. And I just really want to give you the answers within five minutes. So I want to go over the IRS collection letters so you know what they are. I've written them down here so you all, all know that. So the very first letter you're going to get is a CP14 notice. This is the process that IRS will take, and they happen on every single IRS case. The CP14 is just the balance due. You owe money, IRS is going to send you the CP5, the CP14. Next comes the CP 501 and that's the balance due lever uh, letter they usually come out in six week cycles IRS works off a cycle the next letter is the CP 503 it says important immediate action well it's really not immediate they're just kind of stepping up what they're saying in each of the letters the next is the 504 this is the urgent notice and it is going to get serious this is the final notice you get. This is the final notice before seizure and the levy, and it really is meant to ruffle your feathers, and it's time for you probably to call a professional at that time or take care of it yourself, whatever you feel comfortable, but you got to know the process. The next is the CP90 or the CP297, uh, which is the final notice of intent to, uh, to levy. And that's kind of a real important one because uh, if you don't respond to this second letter, IRS is going to probably, A, file a federal tax lien, two, take your wages, or they're going to issue you a bank levy. Those are all things that I used to do. Uh, they can do one other thing, and I better tell you about it, and that's the CP90, uh, CP91 or 298. They can take your Social Security. So if you owe tax, those are the five letters that you're going to get. The best thing that I can tell you as a former agent is know your exit strategy if you're going to owe tax. You can't be an ostrich and bury your head in the sand and say, well, gee, what's going to happen? When you get that sixth notice, which is six months out from the beginning, IRS is going to be taking stuff from you. So you better understand what the next process is. How can you close your IRS case out? Well, IRS is going to want a financial statement, and there's usually three options or three verticals your case will be closed with. Either a hardship or currently non-collectible to the payment agreement, or three, you can file the offer and compromise to settle your, your tax debt. Once again, IRS is going to want a financial statement. They're going to want it documented, and with that, they will put you in one of those uh, categories. If you have nothing to lose and you don't have any assets, just call IRS, the 1-800 number, 829-1040, take care of it yourself. But if you owe sizable tax, sizable tax, anything over 50000 you don't know what you're doing, I wouldn't even touch your case. You should call an IRS tax professional. If you want to leave me a comment, would you like me to make a video, uh, a YouTube video on something, call me. If you need representation, call me. I hope I've given you enough information. Remember, you got five to six months to make a decision on what you want to do. The most important thing is understanding how IRS is going to close your case. Two things you want to also make sure of. You keep all your tax returns filing, and if you're self-employed, keep your estimate payments, okay, up to date. Thank you. I'm always around for you. By the way, if you could give me a subscription, that would be nice. I think there's a bell on there. YouTube values what all YouTubers do on subscriptions. So if you'd give me one, I'd appreciate it. Thank you.